You may have seen in some of our earlier videos where I had mentioned that there's a chicken coop that's in much better shape at my other house and we've been meaning to get it over here for like a year and a half, two years. We've been meaning to get it over here. Well, today's the day. Let's go move a chicken coop. Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're, We're glad, glad you're here. here. Okay, there is the chicken coop and the attached fence. Uh, first thing we need to do is get that fence taken the rest of the way down and get it off of there and then try and figure out how to move this. Uh, it's been several years since I built this. I know it's just sitting on those four runners, which are probably pretty well rotted out. That was just old skid lumber, so I'm not sure exactly how we're going to move this, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot and we'll let you know. And we also need to get that one out of here. Okay, we've got the fence all down. We took some long six by sixes and ran them underneath. Got it sitting on the six by sixes. We've bolted the six by sixes to the runners underneath. And we put some pulling strap on the, uh, on the six bys and around back. bolted a six by or a two by six to the ends of the six by sixes. So our hope is as we pull this, the six by sixes will just drag the uh, shed right along with it. We've got it hooked to the truck winch. We're going to try and get it turned and more out here in the center of the yard and back the trailer back up to it and then try and pull it up on the trailer. So we'll uh, we'll keep you updated as we go. Okay, we did get it pulled down from the location it was at up there in front of the blue shed. Down to here, went fairly easily. Easier than we expected, actually. He is going to hook the trailer back up, turn it around. We're not quite sure how we're going to hook up the winch to the trailer to winch it on there because, of course, it hooks up where the trailer hooks up. So, we're gonna figure something else out and we'll get back to you. Okay, now that we got it moved, we're uh, winched back onto the trailer. <laughs> so we'll start the truck up so we don't kill the battery and we'll start pulling this up toward the trailer. I think we may have to pull the truck and trailer down a little bit because we're not quite square, but hopefully this will just pull right up on the trailer on those ramps. We will uh, keep you updated. Hopefully next time you see this, there'll be a, a chicken house up on top of this trailer. All right, there we are, up on the trailer, and unfortunately we forgot to film before we left, so we are back at the house with it already. Took it nice and slow, had no problems at all, pulled it right up the hill with no problems. V10 power, it sure, ha sure has it. But there it is, we are going to uh, just chain it to a tree back there and pull the trailer off from underneath it for now, and then we're going to clean up just on the other side of these boats the old peacock and uh, goat pen. We're going to tear that down and we will drag the chicken coop to that new location, put the uh, fence back on the other side, which we still have to go pick back up, and get the chickens moved. So there's where we're at on that and uh, we'll probably, uh, probably get that done here in the next couple days. Okay, slight change of plans on how we're doing the video here. As you can see, there's a lot of work to get this peacock pen and goat pen tore out of here. Need to find a place to keep these skids. We've got to pull all these posts out. Get that grass area cleaned up in there from the weeds last fall. So there's quite a bit of work here. So we're going to just do a separate video when we tear this down and uh, move the chicken coop in place. But we did get it pulled off the trailer. Uh, like I I think I suggested earlier or mentioned earlier we just took a took a chain and hooked it to the tree behind it and took the chain off the front and hooked it to the back and basically just drove fo forward slowly and it slid right down onto the ground uh, we put little notches on the front of the skids so that when uh, when we pull this into its new home it won't tear the yard up like it was doing at the other house but uh, there's the coop sitting on the ground ready to go to its new location obviously we'll need to move the trailer 
but uh, it wasn't a, too bad of a move. Um, I think I kept the truck under, probably under 30, no more than 35 the whole way home, because that's a lot of weight, way more weight than I thought it was going to be, and uh, the brakes don't work on this trailer, so I didn't want to get rolling too fast. And uh, I think I've mentioned in earlier videos that you may have caught the rear springs on that truck. Both rear springs are actually broken, the main leaf. And they just have a clamp holding the front of the main leaf to the rest of the axle. So I've never seen the back of that truck squatted down as bad as it was today with this, uh, with this chicken coop on it. So there's a way more weight than I was thinking there was going to be there. But we did get it home safely. That's what I said, took it nice and slow, took it careful. And uh, we'll get her moved as soon as we can, post another video at that time. So if you have any questions or comments, they're always welcome down below. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Remember, that's, that's more important than ever anymore, the subscription, because of uh, the way YouTube is, has changed how they monetize. Uh, you have to have 4,000 view hours and 1,000 subscribers. And at the posting of this video, we're at 150 SIP subscribers, so we're way far away from uh, being a monetized channel. So I know a lot of people think YouTubers make all kind of money, and I'm sure some of them do, but uh, as of right now, everything we do here comes out of our pockets. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have a nice evening. Thanks for watching.